Over the past few decades, the proper measurement of multiphase flow has been evident and subjected to a lot of research to better understand the different parameters of multiphase flows. Many traditional devices have been in use for flow measurement for centuries. In the traditional measurement procedure, different phases need to be separated and processed separately. During the testing process, a plant must be partially or completely shut down to monitor the flow parameters and multiphase flows. Thus, the traditional methods of phase separation for multiphase flow measurement are complex and limited in different aspects as compared to modern techniques. In recent years, the development and advancement of technologies have enabled accurate measurement and monitoring of the parameters of multiphase flow without separating each phase. Particularly, in the oil and gas industry, an accurate measurement of flow rate and flow tide plays a huge role in improving production. The fluids are extracted from wells, which are later supplied and processed to obtain the final product. The raw fluids contain a mixture of oil, gas, water, sand, and other additives that are present in the well. It is necessary to know the content of each fluid at different stages of production. Understanding the behavior of distinct flows helps improve the overall efficiency of the system by controlling the production more effectively. At present, researchers have been working on the development of new methodologies and are using modern software and tools to measure multi-phase flow. Of all the methods, machine learning has proved to be the most promising for multi-phase flow measurement. The main aim of this research work is to estimate different parameters of multi-phase flow, mainly focused on the estimation of flow rates and flow regimes. In this experimentally based thesis, the two accelerometers and ultrasonic sensors were installed in the existing test rig in the process lab of Campus Porsgrunn of University of Southeastern Norway. The figure below shows the piping and instrumentation diagram, P and ID, of the test rig. Then, the measurements from different sensors were collected using data acquisition systems and LabVIEW software. The series of experiments were conducted by mixing air, water, and oil at different flow rates. Different flow patterns were obtained by changing the mass flow combination of water, oil, and air. Based on the visual inspection, the test matrix was developed by classifying the flow regimes into stratified, wavy, annular, plug, and slug flow. Then, the filters were designed and used to remove the unwanted signal present in the raw signal data. After that, the various data processing techniques were implemented to extract useful information from raw measurements. In this work, the extracted features were used as input to the supervised machine learning models, for both classification and regression models. The total data set is divided into 80% for training and the remaining 20% for testing the final accuracy of the model. For flow regimes classification, various classification models present in the classification learner application were implemented, and only important features were selected to train the model. In this case, the ensemble model with the technique of the bag tree has the highest accuracy of 97.1%. The confusion matrix shows the estimated flow regimes using an ensemble with bag trees. For the prediction of gas flow rates, the ensemble boosted trees is the best model that has more accuracy than other models. Similarly, the flow rates of water and gas were accurately predicted by the trees model with a fine tree technique and an ensemble model with boosted trees respectively. These were the results obtained from regression models for predicting the flow rates of different fluids in multi-phase flow. In the graphs, the yellow and blue points indicate the actual and predicted flow rates of fluid. In all the models, the R-squared values for validation and test were very close to 1. It indicates that these models were able to predict the flow rates close to the original measurements. It has been demonstrated that machine learning models can estimate multi-phase flow from different measurements taken from different sensors present in the test rig.